Just when we think we've uncovered all of nature's wonders, it surprises us anew. For instance, did you know a creature can walk on water on our planet, or that some pythons sport smiley faces on their skin? Not to mention the enigmatic woolly creatures and animals boasting the planet's most peculiar colors. In this video, you'll witness animals so rare and unusual, their existence might boggle your mind. Let's embark on this intriguing journey together. Pink Dolphin Next, we have another amazing and rare creature within a typical color. A pink dolphin. As it turns out, there are some. The Hong Kong Pink Dolphin is a Chinese dolphin, a mammal of the humpback dolphin genus that lives in the waters of Southeast Asia, but it's also found in waters from South Africa to Australia. Unlike the flamingo, which pink coloration is due to diet, the coloration of the pink dolphin has nothing to do with food. Due to a lack of research data, no one can give an exact reason why these dolphins have acquired this color, but one of the most common versions is that their skin is pink because the murky water does not allow sunlight to pass through, resulting in a lack of pigmentation. According to scientists, blood vessels, which are close to the surface of the skin, give it a permanent blush that resembles soft pink bubblegum in color. Back in 2017, the population of these dolphins seemed to be small but stable, but a year later it was revealed that the population had declined by 32%. Grandiose construction projects along the entire Chinese coast are rapidly reducing their habitat and polluting the water so that Hong Kong pink dolphins can disappear in the near future. White Lions Everyone is well aware of what the king of the jungle, the lion, looks like. But what about this lion? It's nothing to do with Photoshop because it turns out that white lions really do exist. Interestingly, relatively recently, no one believed in white lions at all. Previously, it was believed that the white lion is just a figment of the imagination of African tribes. In their tradition, they believed that long ago, spirits had cursed the human race by inflicting horrible diseases. The gods took pity on people when they begged for salvation and sent the white lion to earth. It healed the human race and left, promising to return when people needed its help again. The real proof of the existence of white lions was found only in the 1970s when white lion cubs were found in the Timbavadi Game Reserve in South Africa. Today, white lions are not found in the wild. They live in nature reserves and zoos, where they're specially protected. Workers create the most comfortable conditions for the reproduction of these lions which is not surprising because there are only about 300 of them left. Zebra. I won't surprise anyone by saying that zebras are striped animals with coloration is characterized by black and white stripes, but as it turns out, not all zebras are the same. Scientists recently stumbled upon a very rare individual, the polka dotted zebra. I'm talking about a zebra foal named Tira that was born in Kenya in 2019. According to photographer Frank Liu, who first took pictures of the unique individual, the stripes of any zebra are as unique as human fingerprints, but Tira's strange coloration may be the first recorded observation of its kind. According to scientists, Tira has a condition called pseudomelanism. It's a rare genetic mutation in which animals display some sort of abnormality in their stripe pattern. In case of normal zebras, melanocytes, that is, skin cells that produce melanin, are uniformly distributed throughout their skin, so that a shaved zebra would be completely black. In Tira's case, on the other hand, all of the melanocytes are present, but the melanin itself does not manifest properly and correctly for some reason. As far as we know, everything's fine with Chirin now, but scientists make a disapproving prognosis. According to them, such individuals with atypical coloration do not live long. Bigfoot. When I was making this video, I came across this shot. As you can see, it depicts Bigfoot or something related to this creature. Do you think someone actually managed to capture this mysterious creature or is the picture a fake? Share your thoughts on this in the comments. I'll be interested to read and stay tuned because very soon you'll see even more amazing rare animals whose existence would be impossible to guess. Let's move on. Leaf Insect these large insects of the order of ghost insects resemble tree leaves so much that they're virtually indistinguishable from them. 
They're widespread in the tropics of Southeast Asia, Northeastern Australia, and the islands of Melanesia. Their maximum size is 12.5 centimeters. The body is wide and flattened in females and elongated and long in males. The legs imitate small leaves. They're slightly expanded, leaf-shaped. Females lack a hind pair of wings, so they cannot fly. Males, on the other hand, fly excellently, but they look less like leaves than females. These insects feed on plants, gnawing them with their forward, direct, gnawing mouthparts. Interestingly, leaf insects often eat leaves. I think I just found a perfect example of the phrase, you are what you eat, common basilisk. Nature never ceases to amaze me. It turns out that there's even a creature on our planet that can walk on water. In the most literal sense, this creature with supernatural abilities is a common basilisk, but is often called a Jesus Christ lizard. I think there's no more appropriate name. Actually, I lied a bit. The common basilisk doesn't walk on water. It runs on the surface of water, but it doesn't matter because it still looks very cool. Both the fact of running on water and the speed of the lizard's movement are astounding. The common basilisk can run up to 500 meters at 12 kilometers per hour on the surface of the water, but how is this possible? To solve this mystery, scientists recorded the lizard's movement in the clear water of the pool on a high-speed camera when viewed in slow motion. It became clear that the common basilisk was paddling with its hind legs with huge claws rather than running on the water. Scientists concluded that it was due to the speed and power with which the lizard moves its legs, it stays on the surface of the water. Venus. No, I don't mean the planet. Venus is the name of perhaps the most unusual and rarest cat in the whole world. One look at the cat is enough to understand what makes it unique. Venus's muzzle is not just colored in black and red tabby. The coloring is distributed just perfectly, a stripe runs exactly in the middle of Venus' nose. Moreover, pay attention to the color of the cat's eyes. Its eyes are of different colors to me. Such a combination is almost impossible. But still, how did it happen that Venus became two-faced? According to scientists, it's all about chimerism, the presence of genetically dissimilar cells in the body. Typically, animals with chimerism have different colored spots scattered all over the body or muscle, but in Venus' case, the coloration is distributed perfectly. Researchers claim that Venus is the clearest example of a perfect chimerism that has been formed in the wild. Venus cannot help but attract attention. It's a real internet celebrity. The Two-Faced Star even has its own Instagram account, which has 2 million followers. Not all pop stars have such a fan base. Python with smiley faces. Okay, this is getting weird. Pythons with smiley faces? What'd they look like? Well, something like this, or more precisely, like this. Surprisingly, but some years ago, there was information on the internet that such amazing and rare reptile with marking on its skin actually exists. The markings repeat the famous smiley faces just perfectly. This is the lavender albino piebald ball python, which is rarely seen in the wild in Africa, south of the Sahara. This particular individual resides in Georgia, USA, in the family of Justin Kobilka. Occasionally, piebald snakes have a face silhouette pattern on the body, but three smiley faces at once as a pattern is something extremely rare. The distinctive pigment spots that create such patterns are determined by the animal's genes. By the way, according to scientists, such drawings in the form of faces and not only can be on the body of other animals, for example, horses, cats, dogs, pigs, and birds. Albino panda. Take a look at this creature. At first glance, it may look like a polar bear cub, but why is it surrounded by vegetation and not ice and snow? The fact is that this is not a polar bear at all, but an albino panda, one of the rarest animals on the entire planet. The animal was photographed in the Wenchuan, Wulong National Nature Reserve in China's Sichuan province, in the spring of 2019. This is the first image of such an animal in the wild. The image was taken by an automatic camera. You can see from the image that there's not a single black spot on the animal's body and that its eyes are pink. Researcher Lai Shang of Peking University said that the animal is one to two years old. 
He also said that the panda looks strong, which means that albinism has not made life very difficult for it. At the same time, the researcher noted that a white individual would be easier for predators to spot. Yes, this white color makes the panda a good target, but so far nothing's happened to it. Polar bear. Speaking of one of a kind, at the beginning of this century, another unique animal is found. And what's interesting, it's also a bear. A polar bear, to be more precise. The reason it's unique is that its fur is purple. I'm not kidding. Look at it. I can assure you it's nothing to do with Photoshop here. The bear is really purple, but why? As it turned out, the bear named Pelusid did not get its unusual color from nature, but after a course of medical treatment, it lives in captivity in Mendoza City Zoo in Argentina. According to the staff, Palooza suffered from dermatitis. So, it was decided to start a course of treatment to make the bear feel better. After undergoing the course, the bear acquired an unusual purple coloration. Fortunately, this was the only side effect of the treatment. In other respects, Belusha was not affected in any other way by the medication. The zoo staff didn't suffer after this case either. On the contrary, after Pelusha's amazing transformation, the number of visitors increased one and a half times because many people wanted to gaze at the unique purple bear. That's all, guys. Which animal from this video impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.